on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon- Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we create content every damn day. Hey, man, we got a guy in here today. He really don't need no introduction. This guy right here. Yo, man, I done seen him. He came on the show before, man, but we don't even get into that today. We about to get into the way that this boy here really roll, man. We got some top off business going on, wow, man. Wow. Got my boy Mike Fresh in this building yes, today, sir, man. Yes, sir. Say, man, good to have you on Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. We down here in Waco, Texas, uh-huh. man. You pulled up on For us, sure, man. Yeah, you called my bluff. I had yeah, to show you. Yeah, nigga pulled I'm up on him. I thought down. nigga real top off nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, nah, so. I'm a fake one. Oh, no, man. <laughs> no, nah, you one of them ones, man. Because, you know, when I think about, you know, uh, you, man, uh, just... A dope dude, man, uh, 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 a man that's been on music with everybody doing it for such a long time. You're originally from New Orleans, right? Yes, sir. Yes, just sir. give us a little bit of spiel Sweet on night. just how it was coming up in New Orleans, man. I want the, you know, I want the pre-Katrina. Uh-huh. Nah, keep it you. With you know you, what I'm saying? I want to know how, how, how you ended up, you know, in Texas and all that good stuff. Okay, nah, for sure, man. Like I said, typical hood. Environment. I can't even say struggle because I didn't know it was a struggle till I went somewhere else and seen otherwise. I thought the whole world was like New Orleans, to be honest with you. I thought everybody ate what we ate, talked like we talked, lived how we lived. Like, never been outside of that mug, really, though. And then when Hurricane Katrina hit, that's when I started bouncing around. So when it first hit, I probably went to Fort Worth, I went to Missouri, I went to Carolina, I went to Oklahoma, all in the span of like two, three years, and then wound up back in Texas. So you, know, you came before it hit or after it hit? Um, so it hit in 05. Oh, no, done so then. them three years when I bounced around, I wound up here in 08. So it took me three years to... No, I'm saying, though, so you know I, how when they said Hurricane Katrina was coming, did you leave before? Oh, no, 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 no. I left, so like, after. like, during. during. Like, yeah, oh. I was in, we was in that, and we got up out of that. Because while I was flooding up there, I mean, while I was doing that, it was flooding uh I'm from Monroe. So okay, yeah, Monroe. yeah, up top. So we getting everything that, that they getting. So it's like I felt everything. Yeah, nah, it wasn't. No and I ain't leave. I ain't leave till eleven. Okay. So I stayed through all that. We had so many floods came through. Like all every 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 time it hit New Orleans, we got a flood. Yeah, I got we it. Yep. So I left three years out of Katrina, and then you left. You came three years eleven. After me. Yeah. Okay, that's all. That's wow. All. So you know, being that. You when you got you you came, but how was it growing up there? Was it? I mean, because you had Peaches Records down there, you had a couple Peaches, of things yeah, down there. I mean, to be I honest mean, with what, you, when was you in the music then, or you was? I wasn't into music, but I was getting good grades. I was really trying to be the opposite of what I saw around me. I wanted them like when when a lot of people doing something, mm-hmm. I'm trying to do something else. So it was a lot of like you know street hood whatever going on around me. I was trying to get good grades and be a good boy. I was in the sports and you know stuff like that. I'm gonna say my mama. She used to hang with like Master P and Snoop Dogg and all them, so I used to see them smoking a whole lot of blunts. Like just as a kid, I just always remember that. So now I'ma say she knew like Cash Money members, and I just always grew up seeing that. Recipes Killer Stone, he had took me to the um, Bling Bling video shoot, and um, I was on the tour bus. I met Lil Wayne, BG, all the Cash Money. Like my whole life, I'd have met all the legends just based on who my family is. You know what I'm saying I'm kind of mystical. That's no limit type of time. <laughs> My family, we from the third war, so that's kind of like cash money type of town. Then I, my family royalty, even on the other side of town, Tremie, Kermit Ruffin's famous trumpet player. Like, we known for, like, it's my family. We royalty in New Orleans, so it was fun growing up, bro. Like, we hood, but it was fun. Hey, wow. Hold on, how do you feel about uh, Mill School current situation? Whoa. Whoa. What you mean? How Man, this is the third charge situation. that he's been. Uh, they're saying they're accusing him of mishandling a woman uh-huh. again for the third like, time. Since you've been around him, how, how do you feel Have about you, that? I mean, do you think that this is bogus charges yeah. after the third time? That's what I, mean. I mean, see, it just depends on how y'all want to bust it down because everything in there, I ain't going to just say it's 100% true, but. Well, I understand. You know, That's he, why I he, he do what he do. Like, he make his mistakes or whatever he y'all may have. You know, however y'all look at him, bro. Well, no, it ain't that but, we heard nothing. It's just that the laws keep picking him up, saying that he for that uh, that 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 he he did something wrong to another woman. Right. Why so, does it keep being a thing where 
he gets caught up in the situation by women. All right, look, let me let me keep it with you, bro. First of all, we're going to say Louisiana, like they prison system. You got to understand Louisiana prison system to understand that. You know, usually when you go to jail and somebody got a, um, a charge, a type of charge on them, they do you bad. In Louisiana, everybody in there got that type of charge, and they probably going to explain to you how they got that type of charge. Once you get that type of charge, you're not getting that off of you. And you got a target on you that's not getting off of you. And at that point, the Me Too is going to keep coming for you. I'm going to keep it real with you. He did his time for his first charge. His second charge was completely bogus. That's why he beat it. Now, this third charge, y'all just going to have to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, like, even from a, looking at the media standpoint, when everybody put out that last charge on Mystical, when they found out that the chick was lying and the case got beat and everything, that didn't hit all the platforms like the rape thing. It's not, it's it, not it gonna matter. But this is what I'm saying. It counted that second time, just like how he say, why I keep getting brought up. Yeah. It count as one of them times that got brought up, but we not gonna bring up the fact that's that what, that girl was yeah. completely lying. That's what I was gonna say. They're not gonna they not gonna put the uh, the, the real shit out. They're gonna put all the all the nigga stuff out. That's right. how they get their views. But and keep stuff, it so real with y'all. Yeah. Keep it real with y'all. Like <clears> I don't even like that rape stuff and like keep it real, like his son is like my cousin in Yeah. This happened to his mama, you feel me? So it's kind of sensitive on my side because it's like both of my family involved. And if this was my mama, even if she lied about one thing yeah. and said he did all the other stuff, I'm still going to do him something. Yeah, I, I feel you because, like I said, you don't like the type of uh, environment, so I understand it. Well, I mean, it, it's your relative. and It's my it, relative. It's your relative. And so when you think about that being your relative, and you growing up around him, and you uh -huh. you you a lot of his inf musical influence influenced your you know you. So I know it it hits a certain way it when do. you keep hearing these things. It do. How does it how does it feel to you to hear your cousin mystical, uh, the the uh, uh, sh shake it fast, watch yourself mystical, uh -huh. uh, 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 here I go mystical. You know is is every time you can hear the good things about. Big truck driver and all this stuff, but then it all boils back down to his whole career. Just like, and, and I don't want to bring up R. Kelly, right. but these people they're not playing, right? With, I, I with, with, understand. With, and these women basically, uh, uh, if they're being victimized, it's a wrong thing. I know that, but, if, it, but it goes b both ways, right? Right. But I'm just saying, you know, this is the third time that they they keep bringing this up, and even though he beat the middle charge, I didn't even think about that when I asked you that. Yeah. I know it. This I knew it. A new one. It, yeah, you talking about this new one. But this new one, it's like, new one. it's like, damn, like, what's man? going on? So I now, know. so now, yeah. so now, see, I know more than what a lot of people yeah. know. So what I'm going to say about that is, man, if that man really did what everybody think he did, yeah, that's my cousin and all, but put that man under the jail. But if he my cousin, like, I know he my cousin, and I know how, how he, mm -hmm. like, he not rocking like that. Like, he probably did all that other stuff, but it's one thing he didn't do. But since it's a repeat, Louisiana not playing with you, bro. Somebody gonna, gonna say that on him and they gonna come pick him up and they gonna ask questions later. Yep. Like I said, he gonna, if he wound up being a charge, they still can't lock him up. He still lost money. He still lost this. He still lost that. And it is what it is. But at the same time, like I said, bro, they gotta go to trial. She gotta hold up to what she said. Yep. I don't trust females. And then, so, so, the, so the police and the court system gotta do their job and they crooked as hell anyway. But then at the same time, on top of that, if that man wrong and he really hurt this woman in his way, God gonna take care of this man. I just don't like how the media and the fans, they trying to like, they send this man it. to jail, yeah. do the police work, or they trying to send this man to hell, do God work. It's, they gonna, they gonna do whatever they gonna do, but if that man keep getting out, why y'all gonna keep saying that? Well, we got to first, he got to get out. Yeah. He ain't out yet. He ain't out right now. So there, that's the issue. Until but, but he's, he's in the innocent, he's in jail in Louisiana. They're not like going to let him out. He innocent to prove him guilty. Hey, it seems like he's guilty like, until they get that's him what I just nah, to I don't, be guilty. I don't like you know what I mean? They, they coming for him. See, listen what I'm going to say. Y'all don't even know. The second and the third time, when a woman come out and say you did something, the whole Me Too movement gonna come to you. They gonna come to you with money. They gonna come to you with gifts. They gonna come to you trying to get the real scoop and the real story. And now if they sense any type of BS in your story, they gonna bag up off it. In a Me Too movement, they bag, they bag up off the victim. Mm -hmm. Like a R. Kelly, yeah. the Me Too movement ain't bag up off the victim. They, 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 they stood on their word. They, they carried out a whole coming. documentary. Yeah, All this stuff was going through. 
with 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 cuz if you just really pay attention to what's going on, even the things that's been speculated, even like the hundred dollar thing, like yeah. that man pass out hundred dollars like flyers to a free concert, bro. That man ain't ain't one for no money. Now I ain't saying he don't indulge in certain activities, and it might have been something in that hundred dollars, and he couldn't find it, and he flashed out about that. Yeah. But we playing with this all word that's something different. Well, Mac talked about the way that the just the, the criminal justice system is down in Louisiana, and and he had a lot to say about it. Uh-huh. You know, um, he did twenty one years for a crime that he didn't commit, That's what I'm saying. and he says that basically because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, they was able to give him a false uh, charge. You know, That's exactly my cousin's situation. So it's it's just like Louisiana is a, is a little bit different than everywhere else. Most definitely, it's a lot different than everywhere else. They're not playing with you. They 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 are trying to lock us up. That's so that's what they want to do. Why wouldn't you change and get out from down there if if you know that these police is acting like that? I mean, to be honest with you, cause a loving person, so he want to take care of everything and everybody around him. And I'm gonna say this: that first time it came from the outside, that second time it came from the outside, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I feel like he was getting his life right, and that could never come from the outside no more. And this third time, it came from the inside. He didn't see that coming. When you say the inside to my family? Yeah, his baby mama. I she think did. she was just mad. You could tell, like, because, bro, the situation she be having right now, it's like they getting their feelings and want to say this and want to say that. And but, then, but you saying you what you think. Well, hold on, hold on. No. I was just about to say, family. look, I was just it's about to say, I'm just not. about to say, look, take this out, bro. Like, you don't really know. You saying what you think. Like I said, at the end yeah. of the day, this is my cousin mama. And I don't even see her saying no stuff yeah. like I mean, this. I mean, I'm not saying she she I'm not saying she wrong. I'm just saying from from experience, it's like females say stuff out of anger. Like we all know that. For sure. They say stuff out of anger. So like you don't know what's going on. And we I, just look from the outside in. And I think that too, but I also know this woman and I know she ain't got yeah. no reason to lie for real. Yeah. But then it's like I know this man and I don't see him doing this. But that's why I say, regardless of what everybody thinks, yeah. we don't. No, no. Yeah, don't where, we, we, there, we gotta, we gotta see what's what's going where, on. We gotta where, see where what's up with the smoke, trial. Where there's smoke, there's fire. For sure, on somebody's. You part. just said wrong place at the wrong time. No, I'm saying mm-hmm. I, I'm not even saying on his part. I'm saying it could be either way. Yeah, either way. Where there's smoke, there's fire. But you know who's happy about this? The justice, the system. police, says, the police. And they got another black justice. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and not, even, not only man. that, it ain't. It, it goes deeper that. than that, though. It, they got they broke another family up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 there's another family that's torn apart. Mm-hmm. There's another. There's generations that'll be affected by this, and so therefore, it don't just it doesn't just target mystical and his baby mama. Right. It targets generations to come from that whole situation. Exactly. And that's the and, part that's hurtful for our culture. And, and keep it G, bro. I, I might feel how you feel, but like I just say, it's, it's not fair to this woman just let's just see what's really go on mm-hmm. you see yeah. what I'm saying well, cause I don't, this is my people but, but, now. but look what you're doing you're putting side. it in the hands of a justice system that's but I ain't corrupt. even just saying I you ain't even saying? but no I ain't even just talking about the justice system because the justice system corrupted him on the last charge but God brought him up out them doors though that's what I'm saying at the end of the day that's, that's who really got to, to say so cause we could say whatever we want about him but even then like y'all say, he keep raping him. He keep raping. He like he a sick man. No, that right. man keep coming out them doors. The same person, and I be like, dang, cuz this ain't broke you. You don't want to sue them. You ain't tripping on this and that. He the same person. Anytime we go places, it's women coming at him, coming at him, coming at him. That's he that's not even trying to. That's why I want to He not even bro. trying to do that. He not even on that type of time for real. But if it is a woman he involved with, and you know she want to threaten him with this stuff because she already know the, the, the they gonna come quick. All you got to do is make her mad one time. I'm not saying, because like I said, bro, we don't know the truth, bro. And it's not fair to the lady that's saying whatever she's saying. If she lying, it's going to come out, bro. And if she telling the truth, it's going to come out. Even I feel the same way, too. Like, damn, why I keep coming up? But I know he be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I see how he move. I see how he too nice. Then, like I said, he passed out $100 like flyers at a, to a free concert, bro. Like, he not tripping about no $100. The media make it like, oh, $100. That's how I know. I'm like, man, nah, bro. Wow. Well, you know, um, that that I hate to hear that, Biden, because 
like I said, I know he influenced your career a lot. I mean, the times when you would see him and being that you was Mystical's, you know, cousin. Right. And, and you you know, you may drop a song here. What was the song you said that he had heard? Uh, you spoke on a song that he had. Uh, circle. Throw the ass in a circle. That throw the ass in a circle. When he, when he heard that. He heard, he heard what he heard the Beyonce. He heard, yeah, he heard that Beyonce. So explain that to me. What happened on that? Yeah. So when I first found out, like, um, like I mean, he first found out I was rapping. He had just came home from jail. He came home from jail in 2010. I remember that's the year the Saints won the Super Bowl, and I told him I rapped. He really didn't care about me rapping. Fast forward three years later, throw that ass in the circle out. Fast forward a couple more years later, Beyonce dancing to it. That's when he hit me like, damn, cuz you told me you rap, but you ain't tell me you rap. So that's when he kind of was tuned in. So from that point, every time he came down here, he called me, we linked up, and it was just our love. So, you know, like I said, dude, a tip, he tipping at McDonald's, he gonna tip $100 at McDonald's. $100 really, it, it came up in the, in the, the court details, but, Bro, he give that out, bro. It's yeah. crazy that he said, he gonna pull out a stack and just be giving out hundred dollars to the driver. You open the door for him, thank you, hundred dollars. Like that's who he is. So think about a person like that's mad at him, like what they'll do to get to him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I just be seeing like he let a lot of people in. He let a lot of people around him. Like that first, like this last time, fam, the chick lied to her dude, bro. Dude, they was trying to get some money, and that's what it was. They kept pushing his court date back. Every three months, he come to court, they push it back three more months. They push it back. They push it back. They push it back. She not showing up to court. She in jail. She got a whole bunch of charges from theft, lying, prostitution. Ain't nobody saying nothing about that, though. Like, the media and just keeps saying, he a raper, man. He a raper, man. He raping. He raping. He raping. And it's like, dang, they really assassinating this man's character. I don't know why, but they is. And, and anybody that know this man for real... They don't feel this way. Everybody that's just know from what they Yo, see or what they hear. That. I understand. You. And then I'm not even mad at everybody that's like, come on, bro, because this rape stuff's serious. And that's where it gets to like, bro, that's a sensitive subject, bro. Even if that was, like I said, that was my mama. Let that be my mama saying that. To be honest with you, even if my mama was lying, I'd probably still f be mad at dude because what did you do to her to make her want to lie on you? And that's mm -hmm. crazy, bro, because the world like that. You're right. right. I, I can't. I can't see. And say this is my mama, though. I'm I, stepping. I, I, I I'm stepping by my mama. Like that. I understand what you're saying, but like once you've been around a certain amount of females so long, it's like damn. You like you some some of them you just can't listen to. Yeah. It's like you have to you have to realize and like damn, what happened? Like you got to sit down and ask what really happened because they can lie to you in a minute and you don't even know what's going on. They can, you can crash out for them and then you in jail. And now they ain't taking care of you while you in jail. You're you, going to be pissed off. You so you got to actually sit down and get to know what's going on. Exactly. You have to, bro. Exactly. You smart, if you bro. If you don't, you're going to fuck yourself. For sure. You and smart. You can't do that, bro. The court system in the media, they're going to paint their own oh, pictures. Yes, especially if you're black. And the majority of people going to run with their own narrative. But if you know what you know, then, like you say, pay attention to yeah, the situation. You have to. Pay attention to what's really going on. And honestly, I still think his... his Character is assassinated, bro. Yeah. Like, no matter what. Even if he completely innocent and they let him out again, he his did, character yeah, is assassinated. And, and that was, that's what him. they was trying to do, bro. Well, so he can lose money behind that. That's right. but he and, and he is losing money behind that. But, you know, at the end of the day, if it's a, a righteous case, then it's very well deserved. Right. Uh, we just don't know. But at the end of the day, we, we praying for the family. Right. We're praying for a mystical. Right. And we just praying for the kids, man, right. because... And the, the, the the children that's affected by the that's what I'm saying that's situation. my cousin bro yeah. I talked to him on the phone like that, it's not it's it's touchy it's sensitive you know what I'm saying it's very very sensitive so no matter what none of us think or you see, no matter what mm -hmm. we think something really happened and the truth gonna come out it gotta come out like, and I ain't just relying on the court system but we gonna read between the lines when it comes to like like what they gonna say in trial what's going on that's what was making me so mad dude sat two years in jail just to keep getting his court dates pushed back just to get a whole new judge on the case okay the judge that was on the case he had a 99% conviction rate they kept getting the court dates pushed back then they switched judges as so soon as the so, judge got so the he, case so he, he like man it. they didn't do this wow. they, they did so he switched uh, judges so he they keep his conviction judges. rate so he can keep his conviction rate high that's what they yeah, did yeah bro he didn't want to lose that case. They're well, trying to get. They've been trying to get him. He didn't want to lose that case. And, and one was. more thing, Cuz knew this was coming. Cuz was like, man, somebody, somebody, they they keep threatening me with this. They threatening me with this. They threatening me with this. He told you that. He told somebody else that I talked to somebody in my family. 
He kept saying that that it was coming a week before. Cause he kn- he knows she was gonna do it. He should have put that out then. Even but even on that last one, he ain't putting nothing out, bro. Even on that last one, it happened. He got locked up for it like like a year later. But I'm saying though, it's like if if, if, if he see it coming on a, on a stage like that, you gotta put it out, bro. He because know if it's, it's not, a higher power against him. We understand that, but he has to put it out to protect himself. If he see it coming. And he like somebody trying to get him. You got to put it out. Because if you don't, see what's going to happen to him now. Yeah. Now he's still sitting again. Bro, when he came home, he was just happy he came home. You understand that. And put it out person. to who? Because if we're talking about the media, we're talking about the same media that don't understand. Mike, we understand Mike, Mike, man, hey, man, you you guys are very passionate about mystical. Okay? <laughs> we got other stuff to talk about. We got other stuff to talk about. I pray that mystical and his family are able to come out of this and the, and the kids that are being affected by it are able to move forward and maybe we can mend this. With God, all things are possible. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But right now, you know, it's just in an uproar and a and, and it's just a disarray. Yeah. So when when you look at just the things that you've had to experience throughout your career uh-huh. far as uh, the top-off movement, mm-hmm. just give us a rundown on how you ended up on even on top-off being from Louisiana. All right. Keep it real, like, Keep it real with you. I help start top off. Like I'm what? Part, like yeah. Like I'm. It don't even sound right here on top off. Like I help put. Like I help that. And I'm gonna break it down it's, to you. Yeah, because so we want to hear how Come you help that. You from Louisiana? You not even from Dallas? All right. So I moved to Fort Worth, Texas. Have paint from Fort Worth, Texas. We went to school together. We went to North Carolina High School. I was rapping. And I'd start, um, like, I wanted to make videos. I seen Pint doing them dancing videos. So he was my first music video. So I kind of, like, I got him into this. He could vouch for that. So now I wanted to work with Lil Ronnie. I used to hit him up a lot, and he ain't never respond to me. I met him at a party, and I, I talked to him in person, and we linked up after that. It was me, him, and Pint. And I was telling Ronnie I had a video, man. You need some videos, like, like, I kind of put it together because, like, Ronnie was hot, and I wanted to work with Ronnie, but I had to bring something to Ronnie's table. So I came with a video, man. So now now we three. We the three. Now Ronnie shooting videos. I kind of fell back because Ronnie was, like, the celebrity. My partner's fam life, NT, Pookie, Every South, Juju, they came. They was trying to sign me, put some money up. I told them, Ronnie hot. Sign him, not me. So they signed him, and that's how I wound up on Throw That in the Circle too. But like, okay, so we all formed a, a movement together. So by that time, bro, we was, everybody knew of Ronnie, everybody knew of Paint, and like people that know about me know about me, but people that don't, don't. But that's kind of my fault, because I kind of, I always take the back. Like, that'd be my decision. You know what I'm saying? I just be trying to piece stuff together. Even when they was trying to sign me and I was telling them to sign Ronnie, they didn't understand. They was like, why? But now Ronnie all over the like world doing shows and they looking at me like, bro, you told us sign him. So even when Circle came, that was supposed to be a Ronnie Young Nation thing, but that was a label call. Like, man, this dude told us sign Lil Ronnie, so we're going to put him on the song too. So wow. that's how, how that. How, how, how big was that? That was huge. You talking about the Circle record? Yeah, just the the whole movement and the fact that you got put on it. Yeah, that was huge. That was super huge. Even then, like, I can't even say I helped, like, because that was JT movement. That was JT guaranteed the wreck. But I'm just saying, like, the the Ronnie, the paint, the, the um, I helped put in that work, bro. I ain't going to say I helped start top off because, to be honest with you, that's a bunch of people I don't even really know like that. But Ronnie and paint, that's, we, we put in that work together. Us three. Wow, sure. that's crazy. And then, like, a lot of those dudes in top off, either Pint know them, either Ronnie know them, or either they my partners, too. We all bring in people through, like, top off is just the umbrella. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, we all be doing our own thing, for real. Wow. Let's talk about the um, the, the, the the time you almost got jumped by Lil Boosie. Yeah, okay. okay. I, w- I want to talk about that. <laughs> How you know about that? Yeah, all right, all right, cool. Let's talk about that. Okay, so, boom. I had a show in Oklahoma. I got booked. He got booked. The promoter come. He paid me my money. And he tell you, I got this room for you. I got some wings for you. I got a whole bunch of stuff for you, bro. Come on back to this room. So me and my partners, yeah, you see one of my partners, but I probably got like four more dudes that look like him with me. 
So now we we stunt, we we barge off into the room to go eat our wings and go kick back before our show. And this happened to be Lil Boosie and them in there chilling and they looking at us like, what the hell y'all doing coming in here? So like they 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 had it on their mind, but somebody out that group was like, y'all must want a picture or something. I'm like, you know what I do? So I come, I take the picture, and then we get up out of there. But then I had to look at the promoter crazy, like, bro, why you walking me in there like that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, so did did you fear for your life? Not really. <laughs> no, nah, we if we'd had to move furniture in there, yeah. that was just what we would have to been doing. Cause I wasn't in the wrong. Yeah, I wasn't in the wrong or nothing. How many of y'all was it? Um, about five of us. How many of them was it? About seventy five. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's cool. You know, I mean, you know, the Bible talks about what man having a, a, a hey, uh, to go to war. Part. You know what I mean? And <laughs> we we there would be uh, say. Uh, ten thousand men to have to go up against twenty five thousand men. Uh-huh. That one with ten thousand don't sit down first and say, "Let me send somebody and try to make peace." Yeah, because you know it, it just don't look like it look like I'm not going to be able to do it. For you know? sure that. So you just got to always use your head when it come down to making decisions like yeah. that. So if it was something that was going to be a, a thing where it got a little amped up. You want to try to defuse that thing if For you're sure. going up against 75 people because it's sure. better to be here tomorrow than to get stumped out and killed, you know, by 75 dudes. You, you know what I'm I saying? About that jam. You see, <laughs> I took, I, you see, I took that picture when he said you want to take that picture. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, because you, you know knew you had to de-escalate yeah, it. Yeah, quick, fast. Yeah, you gotta, move, you gotta think quick on your feet because that wouldn't have went like your way. That. Yeah, nah, nah. It would have been hard. Nah, I'm For sorry. Sure. It would have went that way with me. I'm sorry. It well, could have went that way, and I would have fought. Yeah, I would have yeah, fought. Yeah, I know I walked in these people's room, bro. Hey, he I walked in these. I my grind, told them why I'm here, how I got here. Now, if you're going to take over them, it's on you. But I ain't in the wrong. Bro, I walked That's in these people's room. That's what Money Moses be hacking, man. I understand that. I understand that. Hey, I'm going to tell you what's going on, man. That's what he be doing. Money Moses do that, bro. He don't want to try to fight, nigga. I feel him, though. I feel him. Me and him, we was we both ready We was ready to take that whoop, and he just was a little more ready than me. Yeah. You feel me? That's all that is. I feel you though, bro. I would have broken down too. He ready to take he, that whooping a little more than me. If he ain't respect that, then it's on him, bro. Because I came in the room on some peaceful stuff. You came in be like that, so we finna. Hey, hey it just looked it bad. On. We we in there. It wasn't peaceful. And you know this. We walked in there like, like we that. This our won. shit. Yeah, but it wasn't your fault though. It don't matter. I, I ain't mean that. no harm, but I caused Listen, harm. Listen. We, we, no, when when he would have came in, no bro. But I called him. I said, walked hey, in with people. Doing? I was telling, hey, I'm going to eat. He, he didn't say hey. what you're doing. He said, nigga, you must want a picture or something. That's nah, what he said, bro. bro. It would have been that. Nigga ain't say nothing. Niggas ain't say nothing. Niggas had that look in their eye, bro. I understand. I know who had to look like. I know who you talking about. But it's the same time I was told him, hey, bro. Do you think he'd had the same look in his eyes if it would have been five on five? No. Ooh, that's um, a good question, right? No. Ooh. Possibly. I ain't gonna say nah. he don't. Possibly. I ain't, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say. I say possibly. Yeah, possibly. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Nigga, what did you niggas doing walking out of room? If it was me in there by myself, what is you doing in my room? Why not? Yeah. I'm lie. just saying, if it was five on five, if it was me, then yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not bar no man. Because we all yeah, be the same matter, way, bro. bro. I don't care even me, I don't room. bar no man either. But I understand my money version. Moses. They be, listen, I understand. Oh, 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 Somebody oh, told me that money name. Moses bro. is the one that be bro, thinking you bad on this show, no, man. Bro, bro. Be listen, I'm saying if it's seventy five people in that room, there's five of us, and we start fighting, I'm grabbing one by the neck and choke his ass till he can't breathe no more. And they gonna know. They gonna see him on the ground. They gonna see him on the ground, bro. If seventy five, if one out of seventy five people think they finna put their hands on me, we finna shoot. Bro, no. I'm so you gonna fight. shoot that hoe up? If it's 75 bro. people and somebody want to put their hands on me. If we come here to rap and get some so money and somebody want to put their hands you, on me. What I'm saying bro, if boosting them, you, if huh. boosting them would have whooped you that day, you'd have shot that hoe up. If I would have got to. <laughs> it would have been no day. If I that got nigga, to that. nigga, I would have grabbed. Hell yeah, you for so. I guarantee you, been crying. That girl, I would have choked him up. I would have choked him and balled up. Choked him and balled up. They would have kicked me. you. They would have kicked the me, hell out of they you, man. I'm getting hurt, and one they probably gonna be hurt too. I don't so care. at what point you gonna pop somebody? Who I ain't shooting. Oh, I'm fighting. Right. 
But you don't shoot at all. Respect. I ain't fighting. Don't kill no black I'm man. Respect. Shoot, bro. <laughs> I can choke one person Don't shoot out. no black for sure. Talk respect. One person out. If they, 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 they been 75 of them and they jumped on one person, you supposed to earn that whole out. No, I'm going to tell you who's going to win. No, y'all, y'all saying it. I'm going to tell you, what, I'm gonna tell you how, how I see it. That one person that laying on the ground at two token, when he get up, why you going to fight all the people? Just leave, bro. No, I'm not, bro. I'm standing on my ground. Take it down. I don't like it. I don't stand my ground. I guarantee you, Boosie going to respect me after that one man on the ground is going to respect me. I'm going to choke Shot his ass. You want that respect? <laughs> no, I'm gonna get you it. You stay there for that respect, bro. It. I promise I'm gonna get it because that one man gonna be like, damn, he got me, bro. I think he, he might be he right. Me. I know that one nigga he gonna be. Yeah. yeah, but your back and your I neck. I don't care about that. that. I don't I got need all that. Boost. Listen, I got jumped by boosting them crew. His man on the ground. I don't need all that respect. Then I got him. I don't need all that respect. If I get one person, I'm cool. Yeah, one person gonna feel me. One person gonna feel me. I like it. I like that. That nigga here. I understand him. Feel me. Like, I'm not running from no problem. I don't right? always agree, but I understand. Bro, okay, I'm let, not running. Let, let me ask you something else, man. I understand, brody. <laughs> man, so you you met a lot of people, man. I mean, you I seen you on picture with Slim Thug, man. Yeah, I, so, I got a song so, with Slim so Thug you and, and Slim, Big Chief. They both on that song. Big Chief. Man, I've been interviewing Big Chief lately. I don't know if you've been, been watching seeing, the interviews, yeah, I've been man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he said a lot of things about the Sean Cotton Say Cheese deal, man. Right. Uh, who do you feel is right in And Mr. Young Boas. I don't... You been watching that? He's saying I've been that. watching it. That. I can't say he no say right or wrong, bro. He gave, he gave uh, Say Cheese his first uh, possibly interview. First big interview. Possibly. Big but but do, do, do what we talking about? Owe him nothing. No, yeah. nobody owe nobody nothing. Wow. Okay. I gave Say Cheese one of his first interviews before Big Chief. You did? My, my Say Cheese interview was way before Big Chief. And did he ever give you another interview? No, but I don't feel obligated. Have you seen him since then? I seen him one time at South by Southwest. What did he say? What's up, Mike Fresh? He say, he say, he say, I got a video. He put his arm around me and say, Mike Fresh, he was on this shit in 2012. He got content now. He said, I got to oh. get him back in that bag. I got to get him back in that bag. And I said, okay. How do you feel about, yeah, you about, about, about Sean Cotton when he, he went from... Uh, he get where you seen him at to now he has over a million he inspired me he turned he turned up he inspired me for sure he wanted to stop talking to me but he inspired he me he stopped talking to you yeah, for what sure. do you mean his follow was real oh yeah yeah I forgot yeah I remember I come he stopped and I know talking. why he stopped no, talking to me no cause y'all messed so, his car up y'all so, stole his car and, and we see look see no, look alright so look let's go back so look let, let me no, no, let me let me, let me let me highlight you <laughs> let me highlight you my G just like how you said in that boosty situation I know I wasn't in the wrong right <laughs> I know I wasn't in the wrong in this Sean Cotton situation. I ain't do nothing. Somebody but did something to that car. That was his favorite car. I somebody that. walked me in that room wrong. He in the wrong. I can't boot up at these people. Oh, yeah. oh he would've got it too. Who? The uh, promoter. That's the person. If he you would got it too. Hey, if you, he yeah, I'm gonna say, if you was yeah, gonna, but, got too. if you was gonna take it though, somebody that's who you take he it though. But, but let's go back. Room. Let's go back to this Cotton situation. Let's go back to this Cotton situation. Bro, look, Cotton, Cotton was like my biggest fan way before I even had a fan. Cotton was on me like early, like, ooh, you the one. And he would interview me early. He come to my school. I'm the one who made him like Ronnie and Payne. I told you, I kind of put that together. I'm not playing, bro. And all this facts, we could go pull everything up. I ain't Big Chief, though. I don't be tripping like that. But we go pull all this stuff up, but that don't mean nobody owe you nothing. That don't mean you not obligated to nothing. Like, we all men out here, bro. We all got to do what we got to do out here. If you did all that for somebody, then you should be straight. How you going to say you did something for somebody so he should do something for you? If you did something for somebody, you did that. And that's what that is. Wow. So you, you kind of weigh toward the fact of he, he did what he did with him and that's done. Yeah. So, like, why, why does it even matter? Like, I did a song with Big Chief. I paid I paid him twenty five hundred dollars for it, but I, I did it. And I was young, so. But it was worth it though. Right? Did it get? get oh wait, hold on. You, you asked me, was it worth it? Yeah. No, it wasn't. You don't think it was worth it? Nah. Why not? He gave you the song. You 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 sold your soul. If he charged twenty five hundred, you signed up for it. Why do you think it's not worth it? You the one that decided you wanted to pay that twenty five hundred dollars. Right. So give me an understanding of why it wasn't worth it. So I I ain't mean it. It came off like it wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. Like that's that told me not to pay for like not to pay for features. I not that even that one just, incident. Not even just Big Chief, bro. Thuggerverse was seventy five hundred. That's Who? a ten thousand Slim Thug. He charged you seventy five hundred. Seventy five hundred. That's a ten thousand dollar song that you don't know about that he don't know about. Did he, That's why I was. Did he do a video it. to it? Nah, we don't got no video. Damn. Right. 
Let me explain to you though. This is yeah, not their fault. This is yeah, not their fault. Because let me explain to you. Did me a video for that much. You sold less wrong. But look, let me explain it to you though, bro. Let me explain to you. Even on top of that. When I even try to do it the right way and get my business done and get like the buy the beat and stuff, the producer was like, bruh, I, I like that and all, but that beat sold, that been sold. Like I was just grabbing beats off YouTube rapping and I put them folks on a song, didn't even know what I was doing at the time. So it was just kind of like a waste of money. That's why I wasn't worth it. I'm not saying it wasn't worth it that I work with them but folks. Because I wanted though? to do, yeah, it's jam. I wanted to do a song with Thug and I did that and I wanted to do a song with Chief. So I did that. That's good. So in, in that way, it was worth it. I don't take that back by none because he was the dude at the time and I did that. Thug was the dude at the time. I did that and I was young and wasn't nobody my age doing that at the time. So it's like... That was that was worth it in that way. It's worth it like it's bragging rights. I could talk about it right now. I could say I did that when I first started rapping. My first year rapping, I had a song with Thug and Chief. It's worth that. Who had the hardest verse between you and Chief? Me. That's Cal. All right. Bro, come My on. My verse was harder than Thug and Chief's. <laughs> that boy say he went down. Hey, yeah. Like, right, I'm gonna keep it G. Like, like yeah, I got to tell you, I went down. Like, Big like, what Chief got the motivation you? rap. Thug got the straight to the point rap. I'm rapping. I'm a young bite your head off New Orleans rapper. Like, I'm rapping for real on this song. Thug, he just gonna be Thug. Chief gonna be Fly Chief. Them boys ain't doing no rapping. Them boys popping their shit on there. I like it. I'm, it motivate me, but that wasn't no rapping. Like, no, it is rapping, but. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, you, gotta, you gotta say that right. You gotta, though, they gonna take that wrong. I don't, don't care though, cause, cause, cause you, if you I feel mean, me, you, you feel it, me. You gave it to hey, him. I get you. This, I bro, get you. bro, look, look, bro. I'm gonna go back to this boosty thing. <laughs> You talking about I gotta go say that right. No, you I gotta, gotta go fix right. that or I, no, I wasn't wrong. Or I wasn't right. wrong. You ain't gotta say it right. You ain't wrong. They just gonna take it wrong. They that's gonna take they, it wrong. That's they you. Ignorance. you said something earlier and I had to catch. I was like, brother, they're not gonna take that wrong. That's they ignorance. No, I, yeah. think, I think you I, I think you got you said what you said. The you internet stand gotta on, stop stand taking on. stuff yeah, wrong. That's what People they do. gotta start paying attention to what's really being so, talked about. So that's when you when you when you look at like like those two guys, man, they they are man. They body of work is is, is undeniable. Thug and Chief? Yeah. Uh -huh. Them boys got a body they of work. They motivate me. I'm happy to say I got music with them. You see what I'm saying? It's, that's what it is. I just know the game and like every, like look, to this day, right, I, I got, my, you know I got a song with Yellow Beezy. You know I got a song with Enchanting. You know I got a song with Erica Banks. You know I got a song with B-King. You know I got a song with Ronnie. I could go on down and all these songs was free and it was relationships. And People still don't even really care about these songs. Like, my biggest song is by myself. And then Circle's a kind of big song, but to be honest no, with you. No, 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 no. No, hold on, my no, bad. I ain't no mean to say Connor. I ain't mean to yeah, say yeah, Connor. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. sorry, I apologize. My nigga Lil Ronnie, shout but, out my nigga. Yeah, keep it G, this is what I'm saying, no, though. It was not this, a song. No, this, no, this is what I'm saying. Song. No, that, that's Gigantic. A, that's, yeah, nigga, it's big Ronnie. You know I love him. But nah, this is what I mean by that. This is what I mean by that. I'm saying for me. I'm saying when I walk in these places, people still don't know that I'm even a part of that. Really? For sure. Like, like what, what people love me from don't got nothing to do with that. People still to this day don't know that I, I'm on that. It's crazy because you just told me. I'm just a fly. I'm just a, that's what I'm saying. I'm just a fly on the wall when it comes to that song. So that's what I meant by kind of. Like, I wasn't just saying it wasn't big. I'm just saying, like, for me and my journey, like. Do you think you got something to prove? Like, cause uh -huh. then when you went to Atlanta, you went to the hardest hood in Atlanta. Uh -huh. When you went to Chicago, you went to the hardest hood in Chicago. Uh -huh. You 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 out here, you you moving in these streets in these danger zones. Uh -huh. I mean, what make you? What gives you the audacity to <laughs> to to go and I'm gonna go off in these niggas' hood and you don't really know these niggas. Like, do you not understand these niggas? A clap back or they'll they'll ask you, nigga, what you doing over here? You know, if I seen you in my hood, like, what you doing over here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hustling over here you just bring that. your ass over here and you just gonna show up so tell me what gives you the audacity that's the word i use to keep to go off into these hoods like that all right in so Chicago, that's, the, can, that's the internet thing that we that we talking about like the internet take it one way or they paint their own picture or based on what i titled it or what i put on that video the internet gonna take it however they take it what gives y'all the audacity to think I'm going to go to these people hoods and make it out of these people hoods without a scratch if I don't know them or if they don't know me or if I ain't tapped in with that gang or if, or if it ain't like that? What make you think I could come do these vlogs if I wasn't tapped in in some type of way? You see what I'm saying? So the, them people in them comments, I don't care what they talking about. I put that title on there for them. 
even me saying like, oh, they did this or they did that or they said this or they said that. Ain't nobody said nothing for real. But that's the internet. <laughs> no, no, I get it. You you definitely um, have me going because I'm just checking out. And hey, them Chicago dudes was riding us around. Oh, so you, you what you made them ride you around or what you trying to say? I'm How just saying them my you, people you, now. Oh, you you linked with them? Yeah, them my people now. We linked. I ain't, I don't think I made nobody do nothing, but I did make them cause my charisma. I'm so yeah, I'm so I'm so who I'm is that yeah, it made them want to ride me around, brother man. You on old block charging people up saying take me here, take me there, or is it like it's different than that, right? <laughs> hey, look, nah, look, keep it G with you. Hey, look, shout out Uncle Bruce, man. <laughs> Hey, look, shout out Uncle Bruce, man. Look, I went to Chicago, tapped in my dude, Uncle Bruce. He from Inglewood. I told him I want to go to O Block. He really like, nah, man, we ain't going over there. He like, look, we good anywhere I take you. But over there, nah. We went over there anyway. He like, fresh, man, I told you, man. Nah, man, let's go, fresh. Like, What was you know, doing over there? I had to go see the mural. Why they paint the beautiful mural if they don't want us to go see it? So you like, I'm going to just hang out over here. How long was you over there? Let's be real. Did you get in there and get out? Nah. You was like Furious, out. Furious Styles on Friday. Furious Styles had uh, uh, that boy, uh, uh, what was the body guy? Ricky. Ricky was shivering bitch over in. in uh, uh, nah, look, look, look. Over in, look, look, look. I'm going to tell you over, 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 over in Compton. So we I know an old block nigga. You wasn't over there. We pulled up. Look, down, the mule on the stove. We pulled up. We went in the stove. We went around the corner to uh, STL and 63rd, where FBG Duck now from. And then we came around the block and came back to, to the mural, and then we did a video on the pictures. We really was hanging out out there. Like, I'm not, there's not no hard, tough shit, bro. Like, we we could kick it with people. We could go pull up and talk to people and, and be out there doing what we doing, you feel me? Wow, nobody had nothing to say. Nah, they was looking at me crazy, but they didn't say nothing. On O Block, but then, okay, on 63rd and St. Lawrence, them niggas walked up on us, like, where you niggas from? We like New Orleans. They was like, oh, what y'all doing? It was like a documentary. They're like, oh, well, we could check it out at. We fuck with New Orleans. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, at first it wasn't so friendly, but then towards the end of the conversation, it was like, okay, woo, woo, it was all good. So, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about the uh, the run-in with Fredo Bangs and uh, Lil Webby. Okay, so, this nigga. <laughs> so, Miami, I went to, uh, yeah, I went to Miami. Ronnie and Fredo Bang did a feature, Pine shot the video. It's called Doggy, go check that out. We was in Miami, had a, a nice crib, females came through. And um, that was my first time meeting him in person. He was cool. It wasn't really too much of an exchange or nothing. I took a picture with him there. The second time I went to Miami, in Channel, she signed a Gucci Mane, and uh, she was in the studio with Fredo Bain. I pulled up to Miami, I was really pulling up on Channel. he in the studio. So then when I got there, like I said, it's my second time in Miami. My first time I seen Fredo. The second time I pulled up right to the studio, I see Fredo. So I'm like, bruh, every time I'm in Miami, I see you. And he like, bruh, every time, he damn near like, every time I'm with somebody from Texas, I see you. And it's like. Oh, and, and not in a good way. Nah, it wasn't a good way. Okay. But so it, that's just like how we communicate. But we start talking, chopping it up. Like I said, I didn't want to play him no music, and I didn't want to ask him for no picture this time. The first time at the video shoot, it was a video shoot, so I seen my way in to do that. We in a studio session, and we all just talking, and it's not that type of time, so I didn't want to take no picture. I didn't, I'm like, damn, I'm in the studio with Fredo Bang, but I ain't really got nowhere to prove it for real, and it's like, fuck all that. So I'm just chilling. She come sit by me, he come talk to me, talk to me. Hours then went by. He playing his music. Hours then went by. I'm talking about all night. And then in my mind, I'm like, damn, I should have got my pitch. I should have got some videos. I should have got, I should have played him some music because I was trying to hold back and that nigga laid it all out on me. Like, that nigga was talking about life, talking, 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 playing everything in his catalog. That nigga played me so many songs. I'm like, damn, bro, how do you, I was mad that I couldn't play that many songs. I'm like, bro, I know I got more time than you. How the, how you got more songs than me? Like, it, it, it sent me somewhere. Like, I was like, damn. That nigga really motivated me, inspired me on some shit. Let's talk about um, Yellow Beezy. Yellow Beezy and you, y'all. Nah, we gonna talk about him, but you said Fredo and then Webby. Webby. I talked about Fredo, I ain't talk about Okay, Webby. yeah, yeah, you right, you right. I didn't even hear you on the, I thought you and Webby, I thought you didn't want to talk about Webby because Boosie 
pretty much had already kind of ran you out of a situation before, and you nah, know they kind of then they call me back. We ain't get to talk about. <laughs> We ain't get to talk about the second show and they say call that same dude back to perform oh, and I perform and I rock You it. didn't bring that up. Yeah. Like, oh, because he started cutting no, up. No, 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 no. Look, you asked me about the time I almost got jumped. So, yeah. You asked me about no other time. Yeah, let's talk about Webby then. Let's talk about when Webby checked you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but look, all right, so... Shout out to DJ T. Gutter from St. Louis. That's his DJ. He go around with him everywhere he go. <laughs> so they came to Fort Worth. They had a show in Fort Worth. He texts me like, man, I'm at the hotel. Come see me. Woody, woody, woo. And, man, I know, you you know, bring me some smoke or something. Man, I know you be smoking good. So I put up on him. I get in the room, and they got a double bed. And Webby in the room, and he in the room, too. But Webby really just stand off. And she's not really saying nothing to me. He really uncomfortable that I'm in there, in their room. And I understand that too. Mm-hmm. Kind of was the same, like the booze situation. Like, what the fuck is this nigga doing in our room, G? So I come in and I felt this vibe. I dap the DJ up. I left some smoke for him. I ain't charging him or nothing. I just put it on the table. Good seeing you. And I left because I felt every vibe. I think I asked about a feature too. I said, How much for the features? He was, I ain't doing no features. That's probably the only thing he said. And I asked the DJ, How much he charged for features? He answered, Like, I ain't doing no features. I'm like, Oh, all right. So then I left. The next day, he texts me like, "Man, Savage wants some of that that you gave me." I'm like, "That was all. That was that was all yeah, part of the plan." You, that's all you do. I know what you were getting. I renewed. That it was all like part that. of the I plan. Knew it was coming like that. So, I I pulled up to the room. Now they all in the Sprinter in the parking lot. Like, don't come in the room this time. Yeah, they all in the Sprinter, which is cool. It's a personal I, space. I, I I get that. So I wouldn't walk in the room though. Dude invited me to the room. I still wouldn't walk in the room. All right, whatever. Here we go. <laughs> hey, no, I know here you go. I just I know how people feel. This is well, well, I'm supposed to get in the head smoke head in the lobby. I'm supposed to get in the smoke in the parking yeah, lot. I mean, I'm supposed to what? Well, how I'm supposed to do that, bro? Y'all yeah. gotta figure that way. In the car, I don't rock like that. We gotta be in the room, private I, space. I, I understand. Y'all wanna I, smoke? I that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm yeah. coming in this room to do what you called me for. Okay, and, and when you. you when when you come back the second day, but they come told you the can't time. come in the room. So now I pulled up next to the Sprinter. So when I pull up next to the Sprinter, I hop out. I'm finna give it to him for free. I'm forget him. I'm forget to him for free. A big old bag. I hand it to him. He jump out the car with a hundred dollar bill. Matter of fact, no, no, no. I asked him for a picture. I'm really finna give him this for the picture, bro. Yeah. I'm like, can I take a picture with you, bro? He like, yeah, come on, come on. He finna get up out. Then he just changed his mind in like, in 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 a split second. That's and, him. And I'm like, dang. All right, then he pulled a hundred dollars out of his pocket and gave it to me like, like nigga, you ain't gotta give me that for free. Like, here, I'm gone about my business. Then he said right before he pulled off, he was like, I got a show tonight. If you want to come to the show, come thug in the section. We could take as many pictures as you want. It really came off like, like on some fans. You're like, yeah. since you want to take pictures, old picture taking that nigga, come to the show. We're gonna be in VIP. We're gonna be popping bottles and taking pictures. Come get your picture tonight. Hey, he felt your vibe. I know how we be. He felt your vibe, bro. I understand. I, I what what do you feel on this vibe? What's my vibe? Man, yeah, you like you like you gotta understand when when, when Webby, it's like he Webby's like <laughs> like he, he like selfish a little bit. So okay. it's like when you first meet him, it's like like you say, he's standoffish. He want he want to he want to see who he is. He probably to ask my other DJ who you is like that when you left. Okay, he probably did that. Okay, and then when you came back next time, that was your smoke was good. He liked that, so he wanted to see who you was again. So the way of calling you back again, because they could have called somebody else. Okay. He called you. Okay. To see but what your vibe was. Well, my vibe was off at. You had, it wasn't off. Okay. He was just, he was just uh, monitoring just your vibe. just checking, yeah. Nah, he, it wasn't off. He was just getting, because I do the same thing. Mm. I give you a hard time before I meet you, but I see you cool. I see you moving around. Then but why I, he didn't take no picture with him? He's like, nah. He, he, yeah, why he changed his mind about the picture? What did he tell him? What, what did he okay. tell him after that? All right, so What boom. did he tell him after that? He felt so, your vibe so was good, so he told you, come on. At first he said, at first he said, we could take pictures all night, and then I just left. And I told bro, like, it's all good. I want no picture. I'm not coming to that show for no picture. So boom, boom, boom. He really hit me after that. Like, bro, they be talking about him on the internet, and they be talking about him in the comments. And he ain't had no shirt on. He ain't had no clothes on. He ain't want to take no picture with you because he don't be like in the backlash that he get because that was during the time where he was getting a lot of backlash yeah. when people were seeing him in, in the streets. So it was, so it was understandable. It was understandable. It was understandable. And even me, I'm looking at it like, dang, because he had no shirt on, so he was like he wasn't dressed right. But see, like, I'm from New Orleans, bro. Like, like when we start caring about how we he dress. He's from Louisiana, too, so it's like. like but he, when we start caring about how we look. We or, don't. 
So that's what I'm saying. He don't. It's right. just like you're saying. He don't want the backlash. When we start caring about what people saying about us, we don't. All right, we don't. That's why I say I don't really got no problem with. It. I understand it, bro. I understand it. That show don't care what's about me. Well, you know, my thing is, man. You know, y'all are all from Louisiana, so you know, at the end of the day, I don't know what y'all do down there, but I, you man, know, we don't care. Uh, yeah, when yeah, yeah like evidently that. you do because Webby did. Now y'all nah, can say what you want to say. That nigga check y'all on that. That nigga didn't want to do it. So yeah. yeah, let's be real about that for a minute. I'm with that. 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 That's like juvenile, bro. I was backstage. I was backstage. You didn't want to take a bitch. What is wrong with you, my nigga? I ain't want no picture with Juvie, bro. I was backstage at a Misco show with my cousin Misco, and I was backstage. Misco and Juvie seen each other. They, they speak it to each other Then they really get to look at that Be like man who this nigga is backstage Get this nigga from back here I'm back here with my cousin Like like he back here Just like him and all his people back here And you and all your people back here We back here He down there like, like Telling my cousin like you good But these niggas gotta go I'm sitting there like no we not bro We not leaving him We going everywhere he going See you cocky with it. You I'm not. Say I'm, that, not bro. I'm not. I'm not. He got my show. Cousin, bro, they man. both book. It ain't both cocky. They bro. shared that room, bro. All you had to say was, "Hey, man, that's my cousin, bro. We just hanging out." Instead, you, nah, we not moving. You know, you got. You know, I mean, I, bro, that's how that, we that, live. That's not good, bro. That's how we that, live. You, I ain't you know even say it like that. I'm just telling you, you how I feel. I'm telling you how I feel. I'm telling you how I feel. How did you say it? I ain't say nothing, but I wasn't moving. See, you should have said something. You should say, "Hey, man, that's my cousin. Just here, you know." Who is you talking to? What did you See, talk about? Bro. You niggas is too hard, no shit like that, bro. Y'all too Stop hard, Stop talking to bro. me. Do your show. You here. Why you worry about me? See what I mean? <laughs> niggas is hard, man. Do your show. It's old not school. hard. They See, don't. that's crazy. You put mad ass niggas crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, niggas don't give a damn, man. Listen, stand up for yourself, bro. Wherever you go. If you feel like you got to talk, say something, say something, bro. I ain't say nothing. All I'm saying. I am going to say something, bro. I ain't say nothing. I just wasn't going nowhere. I'm just saying, just defused in a situation, not complicated. Because I didn't say nothing. Nah, you looking at the nigga like nigga, we ain't moving. Mm. Nigga, we, nigga, we I ain't tell him how I looked at him. Like, what you yeah, yeah, I looked yeah, at him like yeah, that though, but I ain't tell you how I looked at him. I ain't tell you how I looked at him. Nigga, get that nigga up out of here, man. I ain't tell you I looked at him like that. But you did look at him. I did. See what I'm saying, bro. I just can't. You can't talk. Let's talk about Yellow Beezy. Why you running my interview now, nigga? Yellow Beezy. I want to just because you 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 know you and him come from top. Well, he wasn't really top off, but he was. I wasn't either. But he was. Me too. He we both come from was. the same family. So we y'all are. used to live together. Yep. And Indeed. when you live together with him, you guys. This Ronnie was, was this recording was, all his music. R- Ronnie was recording all his music. Mm-hmm. Ronnie, Ronnie recorded. Uh, young nigga trapping designer. All that. Young nigga trapping designer. All that. And and, and y'all was staying in the same house. Yeah. What year was that? Man, hold on. Twenty seventeen, eighteen, probably. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. My bad. Fifteen. 15, 16. 15, 16, right before he popped, bro. Right before he popped. Right before he popped, you was with him. Y'all were for some years. Half paint was from, doing all from 2011 to 2000, uh, yeah, about 15, 16. And 2011, 2015, I got y'all a was together. I show y'all. Yeah, send it to me right now. Yeah. Yeah, I love to show the people what, what kind of picture you it, have. It, it go viral every year. Yeah, let me see it. I'm going to make it it's go viral. It's me, Ronnie year. Pint, and Yellow in the drop top. Let me see it. 2010. Send it to me. Okay, because I want to see that because I don't believe you. Okay. Now, here here we go. Y'all living together. Okay. In the same house. Okay. Eating the same, eating out the same bowls. Okay. Same refrigerator. No food sometimes, just Roman noodles in the cabinet. Yep. Have sex with the same girls. Y'all used to be the same girl? Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be in the house, girl. Uh, damn, I hope y'all was being. That's how y'all Texas people get down. <laughs> for real. No, no, I Texas people bro, don't you, get down. Stop there, because I ain't still doing it. So I got Texas. No, you know no, that. Stop no, there, bro. No. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's y'all nasty. We like our own girls in Louisiana. That's y'all nasty. Y'all selfish in Louisiana. Y'all nasty. Y'all selfish over there. Nobody mess the same girl. Like that's y'all nasty Shh. ass over there messing the same girl. Y'all <laughs> should be ashamed of y'all self too. Fun. You better go get checked if you mess around. You don't know what these niggas got. Mm-hmm. But anyway, hope the rubber didn't bust. Mm-hmm. But at the anyway, I'm just saying y'all out no there. Rubber. Y'all y'all raw back and raw dog. Nah, I'm just playing. Okay, now 
Y'all out there together, y'all living together. I didn't say never having sex with the same girl. That was you said that. Okay. Just for the record. Uh, hold, on, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, you see how he, you see how hold he, hold on. Steve so talking about uh, safe sex. <laughs> hey, you got BC comes coming out. Hey, it's coming out real, real soon. So I need y'all to go get that. Shout out to my boy, uh, Dunk Master. Like but anyway, people. <laughs> just, and, no, and you, you said condom. that y'all messed with the same girl. But I didn't Everybody ask for that. House. I didn't even ask for that. I'm just but showing anyway, you how close we were. But y'all were really close. I had never done that. Right. But anyway, when you think. <laughs> When you think about, uh, um, when, when you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we family, man. We is not no freaks. When you, when, you of, when you think about what you guys were over there doing, whoremongering, I guess. I didn't want to go there. Y'all just explain it that way. Did you send it to me? You sent it to me? I'm about to. Okay. So when you guys was over there having a good time, being young, how old were you guys at the time? Hey, I was younger than everybody, so. How old were you? I probably like 15, 16. 16. Well, nine eleven, bro. I'm damn, bro. Hold on, you I'm, look, I'm 27 16. right now. So Ooh, 2015, you was 20. You was uh, you was you 27, 2015. You was you was uh, actually like you had 13. been out of high school for a couple of years. Okay. Um, you had so been out yeah. Of high school when we was all living years. together, we was yeah, we was grown. Years. We was grown. So you had been out of school for about a couple of years. So yeah. you was grown, yeah, and they grown. was grown. Yeah. Um, and you guys were making fresh music together. Yeah. But you was top off during that time. I wasn't. Who was top off? Nobody was top off? Ronnie and Pint because, bro, JT guaranteed the wreck started top off. He was in the Arlington area. <clears throat> A lot of the top off artists, except for the younger ones, like the JBs, the Tory Lees, all those people was in top off with Ronnie and JT. They was all friends. They was all close. So, but you Me and Pint, we, f we come from Fort Worth. We didn't really know JT. So that's what I'm saying. Like we really we got like in top off, but we like we ain't no JT top off. We just top off because we working. You see what I'm saying? So when you guys uh, okay, so fast forward. You got, you got the business, and then you got we grew up with with dude who started it. Okay, but fast forward, and you guys are are, are all uh, hanging out together. Where does it Explain to me when Yellow Beezy decides that he's not going to be there with you guys no more. Um, you see what I'm saying? To be honest with you, bro, he was about the house already before he popped. So, so really, he was he just moved around. Yeah, moved out the house. But he, but who who was he? Who did he move out the house? And how did he? When he moved, what was the reason he moved? Because when I live, like me and but Monty Mo's living together, it's like man, you you gonna just be pilling? Hey, okay. keep it G with you. Being real, he was moving there because he had some situations going on, and he needed to come there, and he needed to come operate from there, or do whatever he was doing there, and it was kind of like a lookout thing. He he needed to get on his feet, and he got on his feet. Oh, so at that time he was on he was on his ass. Yeah. And he didn't have nothing really. He was, I mean, I ain't gonna say it like that because he, he had he was, what he you had. You said he had to get on his feet. He was on his ass. Okay, cool. I'm just being real. That's true. That's true. So I mean, so that's he was true, on his true. ass. Well, shit, he on his feet now, so it don't matter. Exactly. So we just talking so about why what he happened. lived because you don't get on your feet and, and stay on your ass. All right. So you got off. You got off his ass on y'all with, with y'all and got on his feet and left. Yeah, because that's much. where you, your feet take you away from the Correct. people that's so, on the ass. So when he left, was it? It was in good good terms, right? Right. So you guys, uh, y'all had music together, right? Yeah, me and him got one song. One song, y'all did. Song. When he was living with you, yeah. And when he left, um, do you own the rights to that song now? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever try to remix it, put it out, or anything when he was popping and bubbling? Yeah, I tried to shoot a video to it. Did you ask him about shooting a video? Yeah. Did he shoot it with you? Uh. -uh. But he's, why did he not shoot it with you? I'm going to tell you why. He didn't want to charge me, but he didn't want to do it anyway. But he, he had popped already? Yeah. He and had you, just popped. And you, and you asked him, say, man. Let's look. shoot the video. Because you like, already hot. Old. Like, like. He was like, bro, that's old. I don't like my verse. I don't like this. I don't like that. Let's do something new. Like, he, But even before he said that, he gave me the runaround for a minute. Like, we was going to do it. But, bro, I know he big. I know he got all these people in his business. I know how this go already. I just trying to see what I like. It, it, you just testing the water. Yeah, and he was I like, knew "That shit wasn't possible." He was like, "No, I'm not." He 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 didn't yeah. he didn't do it. Yeah. Did he ever give you a clear explanation of he not gonna do it? And yeah. then he told me he didn't like the like he didn't. If he didn't like it, you got to He Bro, he trying to lie. Keep it. He was no, talking. He's trying to push it. That's the best verse he got. Ever had. Oh, damn. I was finna tell you, he just lying because I ain't no way in hell. You my partner, we stay inside. I'm not finna tell you. No, I'm gonna tell you and explain to you why. I'm not finna get around the bush. Oh, we been together the whole time, bro. So it's like, that's whole shit. What you mean? 
I, I'm gonna let you know what's going on. So why I can't do it? Yeah. Especially we partners. I'm gonna tell you why I can't do it. But why mm-hmm. do you think it's his best verse? Because I've heard some yellow beezy verses, and that, that probably I don't need to hear I think that. I bring the best out of people. I think when I rap, when people when me, when I work with people, they go harder. They got to. They got to step it up when they when they, they owe me. So at, once you you and him um, kind of got past that point. Um, did you ever um did you ever hang like uh, you know hang with him again anywhere uh uh-uh, we had we had we were booked on two shows together cool. so that was two That's times time. i seen him after you know when we spoke he acknowledged me that was that the third time i was picking Ronnie up from the airport and i guess they was on the same flight so um he seen he he smiled and he seen me running again and he spoke because this was time me and Ronnie probably we wasn't running each other for a long time so Yellow was happy to see me and Ronnie together Yellow was happy to see me picking Ronnie up from the airport so that was the third time like I said I, I seen him three times since he been famous them two shows together and that one time at the so airport so it just mean he not moving and like he spoke he to, to me he like, he can't move he, like that anymore yeah and he spoke to me every time like what's up brother like so but you understand why he moved the way he moved yeah now, right for sure see one of them times at the show it was a whole Shoot out Yeah he can't move Like that no more sure. That's one thing I do I do respect about it shoot out Y'all was shooting I ain't say Who was shooting <laughs> I said it was A shoot out <laughs> People was shooting and Somebody got shot I don't know Who was shooting Oh somebody got shot Uh huh Hey Yeah Who did you blame it on One of the two rappers That be beefing Oh I got you now I get it now. Okay, we we, we, come. we ain't doing it. Mahia, 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 Mahia. Nah, you ain't got to go that far. Mahia. Damn, that's crazy, man. Because, like I said, these people, man, y'all go through so much as rappers. I feel sorry for you because it's such a dangerous job. Yeah. You guys have put your life on the line. Y'all have turned the damn thing into the army, to be honest, with two war zones. Yeah. You know, and it's sad because young black men are killing each other. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? So, yeah. when you. So, how. Have you tried to reach out to Yellow? Because, I mean, you got phones work two ways, buddy. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried to reach out to him and say, hey, man, what's going on? Do you follow mm-hmm. him on IG? Yeah. Do he follow you? Uh-uh. He had to unfollow everybody when he blew up, bro. But when people get famous, they unfollow people to have their follower account low. People don't care about that, bro. If we cool, we cool. I don't care who you follow. It's like the end of the day, end of the day you still going to So he following. unfollow everybody? Yeah, I mean, he probably still follow like Ryan there or Paint. somebody. I don't know. I don't know. He looking at that man follows. Once I seen yeah, that, he don't follow me. You, once you I knew seen that, that <laughs> hey, hey, look. Once I seen that, I stopped like like paying attention to who he follow. I still support his music and his posts and stuff for sure because I'm inspired that he blew up and I seen it. Like I was there with him and then I see that he big now. So it's like it's an inspiration. Like I watch him like I'm a fan of him like I'm a fan of everybody else. You ever DM and tell him he's doing a great job? Hell yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I can't be mad at you. He did me back too. You ever post his music? Be real. When he first blew up? No, I'm talking about now. He just did a mixtape. I posted some of his stuff the yeah, other day. Yeah, I ain't posting none of that. Why not? I just didn't. Bro, y'all family. Right, I'm sorry, Real the Beezy for not. I'm just being song, real, bro. like you should. Real the Beezy, come tell your side of the story. No, no, no. Hey, no, nah, hold on, though. No, I'm just being real. You keep should, because y'all, keep bro, y'all live together. Keep it and G? so many times people keep it get G? caught up I on trying to. I, I jam it. If uh, you may jam it, but uh, it would be, uh, it would probably bad feel ass good. Yellow boy. Yeah, but oh, he won't. He would some. probably feel uh, better. I ain't never been no hoe. Hey, hold on, bro. That sound like I was on. All I'm t- see you you doing other stuff, but I'm telling you, I'm I'm telling you, you I support him and I was jamming his music. Stuff, like and you, just because I didn't post it, don't mean I don't support Ronnie him. Stuff. And don't mean I'm not his family. You post Ronnie, Ronnie I love stuff. Ronnie. I, don't the thing. I love Ronnie a little oh, more than I man, love him, bro. Matter, man, y'all family, boy. Y'all we family. That's my bro. boy. Hey, yeah, I jam his. Bro, so you I should post that stuff. tape when it came out. Don't you think you should post this stuff? Yeah. Let's be real. That you know him. Even if you know the way God work, you know, even if you do me wrong, I still do, you know, I ain't gonna do you like that if you feel he done it. He what? just may be busy. Hey, hey bro. Hey, 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 I don't wanna hear from hey, him. Bro, you got a I business. don't wanna hear from him. You got a business. Boy, you got a business? What's up? You got a business? What is it called? Money Moses Empire. You posted it? No. Nope. Yes, I post him all the time. I post him all the time. Like what you drop new that he posted? Anything if he drops something though, I'm posting. Hey, he gonna post it. Okay. He gonna post whatever I, I do. Okay, yeah, but I'm gonna post yours that's, that's if me and you locking though. in. I'm gonna tell you like this: you and him used to if live we together. Locked in, y'all used to live together, nigga. Yeah, 
Post that man's stuff. Man, I just had to tell another nigga this is not that big. Man, support each other. Do you post your stuff? We got to stop. Time it don't matter. Right. I knew it was getting that big. It, 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 it don't matter. It don't matter. I don't want no post, though. I don't want no post. I don't want no post. I get what he's saying, but I don't want no post. It goes both ways, too. No, you should post yourself. I'm going to post it. You should post yours. Hey, look, keep it real with you. You should post yourself. I'm going to. You should post yours. I'm going to. You should post yours. It means something to him. Because you call me and me feel bad. No, I'm telling you, man, boy, you can't do that, bro. I don't feel bad. I be jamming, bro. Bro, man, I know this is, dude, bro. He's already up there. He's he already got his money where he needs to be, bro. Don't you affect gotta real life. No, hey, all, I'm, all I'm telling you is, man. You got to post you. It, it, post don't him, listen right. to him. I'm going to post him. Yeah. Just like you, just like you told me single. That's real. Yeah, just like you told me single, yeah, or some money. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. Did you send him something? I did. That's my nigga. You yeah. still send him something? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, I'm going. out here breaking breaking yokes, man. Yeah, he, he, yeah. I'm breaking yokes. Make sure you yeah, tell all these niggas me. to fuck I'm with me like that. I'm breaking yokes, me. man. And when these niggas come in here telling them. niggas like you, you know what you just did? And when niggas say. Bro, when, you know what you just did? What you I just did. made me feel like what I'm doing means something. Yeah. For you to send Go Yayo yeah, some money because I told you to send Go Yayo yeah, some money on Boss Talk 101. For sure. Because you knew him. For sure. Just like you know yellow. Yeah. Don't be like everybody else, man. Do something with these dudes regardless. Don't be like these other suckers, man. Yeah. You great anyway. Hey, you see. This ain't gonna do them to make you better. You seen me talk to Lil DZ the last time you seen me. Yeah. Me him this tight, bro. We still tight. Like, yeah, but I'm still good. saying post him. Support him. He just did a mixtape. Don't yeah. be like these other cats. Y'all come from a different place, man. It means something. Yeah. A lot of niggas done forgot. Bro, I love yellow, bro. That's I right. Be arguing I with, know you do. I be arguing with Mo3 fans every day for yellow, bro. I know you do. You ain't got to worry about the arguing with Mo3 fans. I don't care nothing about that. That ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking hey, about. Because look, this is what I'm saying. No, I'm just telling you. When you, you like that yelling, that they, you they automatically Mo3 hate it. Hey, no, I you love his music. No, no, you're not. No, no, you're not. I'm telling you, bro. Can't say that. What the hell are you talking about? That's not the way it goes, bro. Oh, look, listen. All right, it's not the way it goes. It's not the way it's supposed to go. It's I'm not telling the way y'all. I'm telling y'all the way. No, it's not my mind. I'm telling y'all the way people treat me. Bro, no, bro. Y'all so, trying to no, tell me no, my mind. I'm trying no, to tell no, you how no, people no, treat no, me. No, no. All I'm telling you. Because, because like, I know this yeah, man. I know this. And I be trying to be like cool. Like, yeah, I'm cool with dude. And if people be like, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. You feel uh -huh, me? Yeah, uh -huh, I get what you're saying. Uh -huh. You don't have to react to that. So as a man think is in his heart, so is he. You don't have to react to what somebody I say or feel about. Okay, so you just need to do what you need to do because you have a relationship <laughs> mm -hmm. with Yellow Beezy yeah. and used to live together. Yeah. Damn what everybody is talking about. Yeah. All that other picking side, I'm not talking about you and Yellow Beezy is what I'm talking about. Yeah. You have a relationship with this guy. You right. know this guy. Not I never really, bro. No, no, y'all live together. Not really, though. Nigga, I ain't never lived with nobody I didn't know. The hell is wrong with you? You can't just live hey, in the house with a nigga. Had a I good. don't know that nigga. Y'all live together. Hey, yeah. I so you know a lot of people nigga. I ain't no, know. No, no, you know. How long y'all live together? Probably like a year. Nigga, you know that nigga. Hey, I ain't never stayed with no damn by no year and didn't know who that is. Hey, listen, was. this is what I'm saying, bro. Hey, man, watch. Do you this nigga stay with somebody a year? Do we know him? Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey yeah, listen. you know that nigga. You know what kind hey, of listen, serial you know, that nigga. Hey, listen, you know you got your partner. You got your partner. You got your partner. I eat the diggle smacks, nigga. I eat the diggle smacks. I eat the diggle smacks. You eat the corn hey, flakes over here. I know the nigga don't this mess with saying, this. Bro. You know what this kind of cereal that nigga eat. What kind of cereal do that nigga eat? I don't know. Nah, you know, nigga. Corn, uh, what's them yellow ones? See what I'm saying? Corn pops. Them corn pops, nigga. Yeah, that nigga, 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 I like how he how he rock with Ronnie. Bro, no, not post a no. rock with me like he like. Don't like matter. Ronnie, like this is what I'm saying. Me and Ronnie cool, and Yellow was more like Ronnie partner. And I'm gonna keep it G with you and say Yellow liked me. Yellow used to tell Ronnie like, bro, you look humble. I like him. He can rap. He hard. We developed like some type of little relationship. But since he blew up, I'm not like, oh my partner, partner, oh me some. No, it ain't that he owe you nothing. It's just you guys live together for a year. It, the, the, the fact that y'all have seen each other daily for a year, brother, means something. I would, bro. I don't be at home every day. And it he don't didn't matter. Either. Well, you still was y'all <laughs> in the same house for a you year. You right, you right, you Come right. Come on, man. You right. Anybody bro, to see this guy. But if don't you know try somebody to, stop trying to make it like I ain't got no love for that man, though. All right, stop no, trying to make it seem no, like I got no love for that man. All I'm saying is, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. All I'm saying is, 
It, I'm not saying you don't show you not you don't have to yeah, love for it. Yeah. I'm just saying we go by actions. If you love him, show him you love I'll him. I'll be showing him. Okay, then post just some of his stuff. Yeah, that post just, that's one way to show you somebody got, you no, love. No, that's the way you show people now. No, that's not. If he yeah. drop an album, if he drop a, a, a whole album. I can and, post you and hate you, bro. Bro, it don't matter. But you you don't feel that way about him. All I'm saying is y'all got a connection that he other people don't have with him. Right. It'll mean something to him if you post his stuff. Bro. Right. And you know that. And right. you hold him back because you know that. I hold him back. It'll mean something now. No, you hold him back. On That's it. why yeah. you, I see what you're getting though. Yeah, you yeah. rock with he it. He's going through a lot, man. Man, 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 I'm not nah. making you no victim. I'm just shout him. Like, you're not making no, you a victim. I'm not saying that. I'm saying all of I'm not saying you can't make him a better person. All that, I'm not like, saying. This man thing. Like, like, I shot him with him. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you shot this him. This is what I be telling I'm the, saying, this what I be telling people. I've been through a lot with him. You've seen his developing stages. You've seen yeah. him go down in situations, man. Yeah. At the end of the day, bro. Life is too short, man. For sure. Show some love, bro. It don't right. take. It don't even. It ain't even that hard. And he know I love him. No, you know you don't show the actions. Like yes, that, I bro. do. No, you don't post his stuff. See, now we go ahead to talk about. <laughs> you gotta post. Even me talk bro. about the shootout. Yeah. I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, just 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 post, post, show some love, I'm man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We life too short, man. Y'all such bro, great. We done, no, this is what I'm that saying. Was a lot of we done been through stuff together, there, bro. bro. Look, we done been look. We done been through stuff together. We done been out of. We done been in a shootout. We done been in a shootout in Houston. You know, we been in a shootout. The in Houston. more you dig, we been in a shootout in Houston. You making me right by saying been in all this stuff. Houston. If y'all was in a shootout in Houston together, somebody try to uh, play with Lil Ronnie. Okay, cool. I really know how niggas live. Just not and they didn't even to play me. with them. They looked at no, them crazy. All I'm saying we was leaving the show. Bro, listen, we we can, can, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, we could. I've I been in shootouts. He been in shootouts. Hell that's how you know who love you. All of them been in shootouts. That's how you know who love you. Bro, all I'm telling you is that's how you know who love you. No, but listen to me. That, that ain't just no love shows, in the shootout. No, that just shows why it ain't. Hey, no if a nigga jumping for a bullet for you, ain't no love. Bullet ain't got no, bullet ain't got no name on it. But listen, but if a nigga trying to say you, he don't got no love for you. Yeah. No, all I'm saying is that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you. you but I'm saying if you if you show love, then why you don't show love now, bro? That's all bro, I'm you saying. Trying to make I don't like that. <laughs> trying to make me the victim no, for not I'm doing saying, one thing. No, it's just it, you, what if you, I cook that man some breakfast this morning? When? You ain't even seen him but three times because you're not making you you have a it's my you fault have I ain't a, seen him. you have a you have a wall built up in situation. <laughs> I got the wall built yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I built it. Yeah, the man that grew, man, and you should grow with him because I'm growing with him. No, you're not because you won't even post his stuff. I wasn't posting. No, I'm just playing. I was posting. Oh, <laughs> see what I'm saying. Bro, just just take the wall down, man. You you bigger guy. I got a wall up, bro. Yeah, you want to just learn something new yeah, on your interview. On yeah, your yeah, and, and you basically you had you when when I was here with you last time or when we spoke last time and you went and you start you put some money on go yeah your books. These are big big hurdles you climbing. You you growing as a person when you do that. You helping those people too. You can help that man. But that where, man going through it, man. But you where can you help think that man. Wild come from though. I think the wall come from Satan, to be honest with you. He always oh, looking man, at ways to keep people divided. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, bro. You, I love the you, internet, you, though. I, I, I don't think you My people know I'm a real one, but keep pop, no, pop, I'm pop. Saying, all I'm, no, I'm just saying. You, you just, you just got to make sure that, that you don't let, let the devil win when it come down to trying to keep people divided. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I ain't divided that, from nobody. No, no, what I'm saying I is. I love everybody. Well, show it. I do. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Yellow bees, I love you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm go hard, bro. There you go. And post that thing. I'm going to post it right to, now. That's why mine. I'm going to post it while I'm while on, we boss, on talk. boss Talk. Post that on right now. Yeah, hey, yeah. And, and did you send me that picture? I'm going to put the fire emojis man, and that's the caption dope, bro. and everything. That's dope, man. And put Boss Talk 101 on that hoe, too. I got you, bro. You know what I'm talking <laughs> Tag me in that hoe, man. It's going down. We showing love straight up out of Waco, Texas, man. My boy Mike Fresh just straight up out of Waco, Texas. We in Waco, Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Nigga, Waco. look, man. Man, listen, you 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 just posted or what? You did it? Yeah. Okay, you lying. <laughs> you were too fast. I just man. screenshotted it. I'm about to. Okay, but go I'm, I'm lying for the camera because when they see it, they go see, see it. it. Post that thing, man. Uh show love, man. I'm gonna show love to you anytime you doing any project. Tag Appreciate me it. in it, man. Appreciate it. Anytime we doing something together, man, we all together, man. I love Damn that. what I love the love, doing, man. Hey, I ain't gonna Damn lie. what everybody else doing, man. Hey, look, hey, look, can I say one more thing, bro? Yeah, hell yeah. That's how I was at first. Well, you need everybody to should post everybody. Yeah. But then when I had, like, when it was like, oh, okay, everybody don't got to post everybody. That's when it was like, oh, okay, everybody don't got to post everybody. But now I'm on the interview and I'm getting, like, somebody making me feel bad for, like, 
getting with the program that everybody else was with. But yeah, I don't felt be like, like you. Niggas, I felt like you in the beginning. Yeah. So it's just like uh, I just said, don't be like them niggas. Niggas clowns. Cause I oppose everybody. Yeah, I said niggas is. I clowns, told you I took bro. the back. I told you. Yeah. I, don't be. That's what make you great. That's what make you Mike Fresh. I don't want to be. You know I don't want to be famous. That's bro. what make you great. That's what make you who I you are. That's rich. how. Re, that's how Lil Runny got that deal because it's the moves you made. That's why Lil Runny still got boy. so much love for you now. Those are the moves you make. That's what make you bigger than all these that's other what I'm niggas. Saying. Just like Yellow eating them pops up. That's what I'm you saying. know you helping corn him pops. corn pops and everything else. You rocking with the nigga. I mean, you know what I'm saying. You did a lot of stuff to influence. He probably don't even know. What I'm saying is, man, you can help people to grow just by you doing certain things, making certain moves. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sorry, you fresh, bro. You fresh, I'm sorry, giving you a hard time, bro. I'm no, going to post his no. album. <laughs> we talked for 10 minutes about why I don't post his album, man. I love that man. I'm finna no, post his no, album. No, no, because we should be doing that, and I'm going to post his album. And post and, mine, And you're going to post his album. I don't know where you get that from. <laughs> I knew you going <laughs> to. I don't know where you get that from. <laughs> Hey, I, I love, love my boy. I, I love his songs. I, 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 I love every Dallas artist. Dude, y'all know y'all grew like, up together. Trap hard. Did you hear what I just said? Uh-huh. Y'all grew up together, we, bro. All right. I know. I, yeah, I know what happened. We live in a house together for one year. See, that's how the media no, switch it up. No, no, I'm talking about Yella, grow up. I would have yellow going there and be like, man, I ain't grow with that. No, nigga. no, I'm talking about from 15. He did that, no, yeah. I'm saying if you came up on the year. Listen, no, not grow up like that. I'm talking about came up in came the same up. man era, bro. Know what you mean? I'm talking about the era. I'm not talking about growing up together. Mean, bro. Y'all came but up. But that's together. how you be twisting my words. I'm no, no, words we like gotta make sure words. we we show love in this era for our people, man. Yeah, we do gotta do that. We got to. That's one thing we do. Don't do it. Ain't no if and bust about it. That's why I'm all for the people killing. That's why I'm not hey, killing fighting. I'm all for the people. I'm just not starting to get on these cameras and stuff. That's why a lot of people wasn't just too familiar. Yeah, but you here with boss talk now. So every time we gonna do this all the time, nigga. We like gonna that. show love. We gonna break. We gonna break bonds. We gonna we gonna show each other that we can do better than everybody else. Just in these cities, just putting these walls up, killing each other. We gonna try to bring everybody together. Okay. Damn all that other stuff, bro. I'm with that. I'm being real. I'm with that. That's why I be going from city to city. City, state to state I just got back from Vegas I was in Chicago Just like you We was in Atlanta With New Orleans With we'll Waco you the audacity To think you could go no, To these people I go and, like and show love And give them interviews yeah. and, and tell them I love them I'm just them. telling you what you I'm be just being real <laughs> I be doing that you know, That's what you should have said But you ain't like, saying You said that. you was on O-Block Like you running Giving something Giving people nigga. hugs bro You know what I'm saying <laughs> I was on O-Block. <laughs> hey, if I go to Chicago, I'm going to O-Block too. And give oh, people some really? hugs, right? Yeah, I'm going. Show yeah. some love. Bro, why not? Vegas. Why did they make the, the mural if we can't go see it? No, you just got to show love. That's how I people That's what over there. Be That's the way I say my people over there. I it's the way you do it, too. Yeah. Check That's the way it, you come off. Hey, man. I love this, this and, show. Hey, man, make sure you uh, 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 like and subscribe to our channel. Yo. Oh, hey, man. Uh, how man, can people yeah, get a hold of you, man? Man, all platforms is Mike Fresh. It's spelled M-Y-K Fresh. Mike Fresh, M Y K Fresh on everything. Man, make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you keep on watching Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk, man. And uh, yeah. man, uh, let's uh, make sure we uh, keep the peace. Yeah. Shout out, Hot Boy West, because I like y'all interviews. That hoe went hard, didn't it? Did that hoe go hard? I be, yeah, I be watching y'all like We you got know, one we dropped today. That hoe already up to yeah. about 10, 12. Yeah, baby. I ain't no brother, them was cousins. Man, yeah, hey, man, no Boss Talk is out here really. Really challenging the that's fact of what everybody up. doing, bro. That's we trying up. to pull our people together, and everybody that's know it. Up. And that's why they don't they don't like this, bro. That's what's the up. devil mad, bro. Yeah, because it's a love machine up in here. Yeah, he mad because you. <laughs> what you be doing? <laughs> <laughs> he mad at Check you. Check it, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's been another dope segment, man. Great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a bosses talk. Yeah.